how many molecules are in 76.3 grams of N2O4? Well, we're given grams and we're asked for molecules, so we're going to convert grams to molecules by converting grams to moles and then moles to molecules. How do you convert grams to moles? Divide by the molar mass of the molecule you're asked about. And how do you convert moles to molecules? You times it by Avogadro's number. Now there are formulas for all of that, but let's go through the example together. We do need the molar mass of this compound. You get that by adding up the atomic masses of all the elements that make it up. N2O4, we've got two Ns, that's two of these 14.007s, and four oxygens, that's four of these 15.999s. Ah, good thing I have a calculator here. When we combine these together, 2 times 14.007 plus 4 times 15.999, bam. This gives me 92.01, and the units on molar mass are grams per mole. Now I want to point out that I was given three decimal places of precision here, three decimal places of precision here. And when you add, you use the fewest number of decimal places, but they were both three. So my final answer here should actually have three decimal places of precision. I'm going to write it there. This is now five significant figures. And that's going to be a little bit important later, but actually hardly at all. In order to convert grams to molecules, you need to convert grams to moles first. Moles is grams divided by the molar mass of the compound, if you're familiar with that formula. Again, it is the grams that you were given divided by the molar mass of the compound. Now I'm writing the units here because when I was teaching chemistry, teachers liked to see that. I'm going to do 76.3 divided by 92.010. When I get that number, it's 0.829258-ish. I'm just carrying a bunch of decimal places, and I'm going to round it at the very end. This is a number of moles. See, little n measured in moles? Yeah. What do you do with that? Well, I'm going to bring back my instructions, but eventually I need you to know this, right? Convert moles to molecules by timesing by Avogadro's number. The number of molecules is the number of moles times Avogadro's number. For us, that's 0.829258 moles. Avogadro's number is always the same, 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23. If you need a unit here, it's the number of things you have in a mole of something. It's like timesing by 12 if you're asked about how many eggs are in the dozen or like this many dozens. But uh, what matters is you're timesing by 6.022 times 10 to the power of. Now I pressed the EXP button to get this capital E to show up. Your button might say double E or like capital E, capital E. Or you can just write times 10 to the power of 23 on your own. But don't do times 10 and then also press E because then you're doing it twice and that's wrong. So 6.022 times 10 to the 23, bam, you should get 4.99 times 10 to the 23 as a final answer here. So 4.99379 times 10 to the 23 molecules. But again, sig figs or significant figures are important in chemistry. So this one had five significant figures. Avogadro's number here had four significant figures, one, two, three, four. The original number we were given only had three significant figures. So the fewest of all of those is three. Your final answer needs three significant figures. That's one, two, there's your third one. Look at the next number. It's below 5, and therefore you round it down or chop it straight off, which means that your final answer here is 4.99 times 10 to the power of 23, and it is a number of molecules.
absolutely beautiful, just like you are. Remember, converting grams to molecules is as easy as time or dividing by molar mass and then timesing by Avogadro's number. Here's your example. Hope you liked it and best of luck.